It's a video I'm pretty excited about. We got our harness. Um, came from Swap Time. Mitch has been awesome to work with. And so let's pull it out and see what we have. We'll do a bit of a walkthrough end to end. So I had to send him some parts. He hadn't done one of these before. So we sent the throttle body off. Uh, and that was mainly so he could test with it. We've got a whole bunch of wires. Um, I talked to him today. He said once we drape them on the motor, it'll make a lot more sense. Um, these look like some of the coils. We have a wiring sub-harness. These are the direct injectors. So I sent him that. A couple with the... Uh, fuel rail pressure sensor. What else do we have? Mm. You guys probably, if you follow other social media forums, you know that I ordered a harness from Swap Specialties. Uh, those guys are clowns. Took forever, they never really came back to me with anything. Took my money and then never answered the phone or Said it would be Thursday a few times. So Mitch at Swap Time also programmed the ECM. Um, it was an E80. I bought the cheapest one on eBay. It was like 40 bucks and Mitch was able to reprogram it with uh, HP Tuner. So that was an awesome value add. Um, yeah, he bought a new harness. He didn't, didn't want to start with anything junkyard. He does an awesome job. So here you can see this the O2 sensor that we're going to wire into. Um, the wires, the, yeah, he labels the things for what they are, the grounds. So what will be interesting is this harness is from a 2016 Corvette. And so our expectation is that it should work flawlessly. Um, so, you know, as I said before. Everything is new, nice and clean. And so really the part that was, you know, I can show you a lot of this, and a lot of this is really simple. Oh, we've got another one here. What do we have? So we got a connector here that goes to the starter motor. So a lot of this is really like simple and standard stuff, but uh, look at this fat bastard. That must be the cooling fans or electric power steering. Um, so what made me incredibly happy with Mitch? Right, so he doesn't just cut off connectors. Uh, he buys the connector, he pulls the pins. Nice clean installs, right? He labels things what they need to be. Um, everything was nice and clean. You know, here we've got a wire for the fan. We've got our fuse box. Yeah, everything's labeled, fuel pumps, uh, starter motor, so that one, hmm, uh, I guess that one will wire into the one in my dash. Busman fuel panels, everything's nice, clean, um, new, so it's, it's nice for a change to get something for a car that's just pristine and clean. He also built this entire harness section here. Um, OBD2 port, nice, clean, new. Um, LED underneath it for check engine lights. And so, ignition wire. Basically put 12 volts to all of these. We have a brake wire and the tack signal. So. Pretty happy with this. Um, the car is pretty far apart right now. I should be getting a video in the next couple of days. I'll try to pull the motor out. Maybe as soon as this weekend. We'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, Mitch at Swap Time. I'll should put a link in the description to his video. He shot one when he was working on this. And so I'm pretty excited. It's pretty minimalistic. I believe everything we have here is what we need. And... Uh, he stepped up to the challenge, so...
Uh, stay tuned, I'll, I'll keep you updated with how things are going. Uh, and the thing that I really like about working with Mitch is at least he seemed willing to to take a chance and work through this uh, versus a lot of other people weren't interested or didn't see it as profitable. So, uh, subscribe if you're interested in finding out more. Uh, smash the like button if you're interested in the automotive videos or if you aren't, you know, leave a comment telling me that you prefer the home automation stuff. All right. Thanks.